Now, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayode Ariwola, will swear in 58 new senior advocates of Nigeria on Monday, the 27th of November 2023. And this is scheduled to be done at the main court of the Supreme Court uh, as part of the programs lined up for the 2023-2024 legal year of the court. In line with the age-long tradition, the CJN will, during the special court session, deliver a state of the judiciary address that would highlight the performance of the Apex Court and the Nigerian judiciary in general in the 2022-2023 legal year. Other leading stakeholders in the justice sector will present speeches bordering on the state of the justice sector of the country at the occasion. Now, they include the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Chairman of the Body of the Senior Advocates of Nigeria and the Nigerian Bar Association. Now joining me on the news to discuss this is a lawyer, legal analyst, Gloria Mabiem Ballison. Thank you so much, Gloria, for joining us. Good evening, and thank you for the opportunity to connect with you. Good evening to you too. Now, Gloria, how do you think the addition of 58 new senior advocates of Nigeria will enhance the capacity of the judiciary in handling complex legal matters? Gloria, are you with us? Well, in terms of, uh, and that's speaking to come with you, did you hear me? Yes, go ahead, please. All right, then. So in terms of the numbers, uh, we need more people on the field uh, to do much more. And uh, the position of the Senior Advocate of Nigeria is the highest office that any, highest rank that any lawyer would occupy. But then where the country stands right now requires quality beyond the quantity. And uh, we listened to the second in command at the judiciary, meaning the second in rank, uh, Justice Detijo, decry the ills of the judiciary when he bowed, bowed out of the bench uh, a few weeks ago. And what this means is that we are at a critical point in our history. Of course, it is unfortunate to say that um, public confidence in the trust in, in the judiciary is at an all-time low. And part of this also has to do with uh, election um, petitions that have been decided where uh, some members of the, of the society feel that their votes were overturned. And that is quite uh, problematic. So with 58 more lawyers joining the rank of Senior Advocate of Nigeria, there will be a bigger challenge. And that is a challenge of them meeting up to the threshold of what that rank requires. Because it requires that uh, these are people, it assumes that these are people who are um, worthy and have achieved the highest sense of excellence in the profession. And what the Nigerian public will be looking to is how that will reflect on the kind of uh, justice that can be received in the society and how they would go beyond just having that as a rank to seeing that as a calling to improve the justice sector in Nigeria. Uh, talking about improvement, now, do you think that this would also help promote professionalism and excellence in the judiciary and the legal sector? Well, there are no magic bullets to this. Um, I should say that we are, again, at a time where the law seems to be in suspension uh, because of the manner in which um, things are being done right now in the country. Um, you would know that um, even with the legislature, there is still the challenge because the, the uh, Senate president and his predecessor did not quite comply with the requirements of the Electoral Act that requires them to, uh, uh, you know, just go for one office. So with the judiciary, and again, with the speech that we saw from Justice Detijo, who, who uh, retired, uh, what this means is that all hands must be on deck. I think it was Justice Chukudi for Okuta who said that that the judiciary, is, the Supreme Court particularly, is not final because it is infallible, uh, but it is infallible because it is final, which means that uh, the judiciary has an opportunity to also want to look at some of the judgments that may not panda well for democracy and so that they can review it. 
And that is where the senior advocates come in, because uh, most of these cases are being led by senior advocates. And so beyond what the law says, there has to be the justice of it, because when the law doesn't lead to justice, it is just a sterile uh, set of um, norms that have no light in themselves. And so with this 58 um, lawyers, senior lawyers who will be joining the rank of senior advocates, they have a duty to join with others before them to look at where we are in our country objectively. Many times the challenge is that we want to be territorial about our workplaces. But the reality is that this is not about the workplace. This is not about any profession. This is about truth and justice and how that impacts on a country, particularly when it comes to the legacy issues that need to be addressed. And so far, things are not looking so good. But while we may want to look at it from that angle of things not being good, there is also the opportunity for us to adjust our lenses to see that every time we come across a challenge where we don't get it right, it also presents us an opportunity uh, to step back the paddle and to look again and stay ourselves towards the right direction. And All right. I'm hoping that this is what the 58 uh, lawyers who are joining in would do in terms of helping uh, uh, with the justice of um, the, the, with how justice is right. in the country. Okay, um, Gloria, thank you so much for joining us on the news. Um, legal practitioner and the CEO of House of Justice in Kaduna State. Thank you so much once again for your time with us. You're welcome and have a lovely evening. And you too.